Welcome back. This is World Inside. I'm Tian Wei. Earlier, you saw my conversations with trade experts from China and the U.S. on the future meeting of trade officials between the two countries. While politics is high on the U.S. agenda, even on trade, the businesses from all over the world are having different priorities. That's what I learned from the China International Consumer Products Expo in Hainan, also known as China's Hawaii. Let's go there for the real reality check. Beautiful flower down there. I know, wow. isn't it? It's so vibrant color. I know. This is a special collection that we brought specifically for the Hainan Expo. Oh. It's called a uh, Flor Eternel. Wow. So, which is eternal flower. <laughs> it's actually uh, from a natural, beautiful uh, flower petal. Mm -hmm. You know, like actually we we show it here. It's ah. all the beautifully blooming flower petals, mm -hmm. and then we use high technology. Uh, like a 3D scanner to shape the flower uh, to be an uh, eternal shape. And then we actually uh, uh, using our uh, craftsmen's uh, mm -hmm. handmade skill uh, like in our here. Parisian's uh, uh, studio uh -huh. uh, to uh, assemble the flower and put the uh, beautiful uh, gems on top of it. And voila, it's in I Hainan. Know. Yeah, <laughs> it's in Hainan. It's a beautiful island, tropical weather. So yeah. that's what we think. Mm -hmm. uh, would be the perfect fit for this uh, show. And Caring has so many brands uh, that mm -hmm. are operating in China. Yes, we actually is one of the largest luxury group. Uh, we have 14 uh, international brands from fashion to leather goods mm -hmm. to uh, watches and jewelry. Mm -hmm. And this time we brought the, the top three jewelry brands uh, from carrying a group level. That's wonderful. Yes, and all of them have a presence in China. But uh, uh, for Pamalato and Boucheron, uh, this is actually their first time in Hainan. Wow, yeah. so this is the exactly the virgin yeah, show. <laughs> exactly, yeah. A very famous Italian jewelry brand mm -hmm. uh, called Pamalato. Yeah. And it brought a uh, very uh, classic uh, design called Sabia. Look at this uh, necklace. Isn't it looking like uh, moonlight on the beach? Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, very poetic. And it has used many uh, diamond pieces, all handcrafted on top mm. of this uh, very beautiful art piece. It seems that every stone has a little story to exactly. tell. Exactly, <laughs> yes, yeah. The, the brand was created in 1967, yeah. uh, when the women's uh, movement, independent movement, was very, very uh, active. So this brand actually created um, jewelry pieces for women to wear, not only in big parties, but also uh, in their everyday life, right. you can wear a like a gold chain necklace to work. You can go on travel and um, taking holidays, and you can uh, do it. Uh, you can wear it even when you are doing sports. I can see you're in love with the brand. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. So there are so many of them, but also not only just from the European continent, but mm -hmm. also you know inspirations coming from a local culture, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to introduce you uh, one of the very, um, uh, I would say, a beautiful brand that very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. It's called Kilin, which is a China brand. It gets uh, all the inspiration from Chinese culture, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, Hulu, yes. uh, like Ruyi, like this. and uh, Panda. Uh -huh. and it's a brand created uh, by a Hong Kong designer uh -huh. uh, in the 1990s. Yeah. Uh, but now it's really... Um, popular among all the Chinese consumers. Mm -hmm. For Hainan Expo, we yeah. brought uh, the top classic uh, series of Kilin uh, brand. So this is called Rui series. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see, you know, it's really uh, draw great inspirations from Chinese cultural relics. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we move on, you know, this Hulu uh, shape is so well known, actually, <laughs> very popular among but consumers. But really, it's ca so much in the Chinese culture. Exactly. It also uh, brings the uh, great uh, best wishes for people, great, uh, bring great luck to people. Mm -hmm. So when you wear it, you really feel very happy. You're, you got one on oh, your exactly. neck now. Uh, I have a very uh, special piece. This is for the 
Kilin Brand's 15th anniversary uh, special collection. Oh, yeah, it that's has a ruby, special. <laughs> ruby on top of it. Wow. Too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is a flying pig. Oh, actually. Oh, I thought it was a little panda. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the animal uh, series is very popular. So the panda series called the Bobo. We started with the uh, panda series, oh. and now we actually expanded to other animal signs as because well. Got all of them flying. Yes, uh, <laughs> it's a very dynamic design, so it can fly, it can uh, move around. Yeah. And I think your business in China is really flying. Uh, yes, we are very uh, grateful for all the uh, government policies and the support. Uh -huh. uh, the China economy is booming, mm -hmm. consumers are very confident about mm -hmm. their outlook, mm -hmm. their uh, life improvement, and um, yeah, we wanted to continue to grow with the market. Yeah, it's an amazing market, isn't I it? I know, yeah. Just and look also, at the crowd that are visiting yes. today. Um, yeah, you feel this uh, very uh, passionate uh, desire for making a better life, mm -hmm. to uh, really um, a show uh, that their lifestyle is improving and the, the quality and the, and the spiritual pursuit of I their lifestyle. I know you run around every year for many expos like mm -hmm. this, but you know that's really the key message I think China is really giving others, right? Yes, yes. That there is such a strong desire to have a better life. Mm. Whatever is the best, yes. bring them on. <laughs> <laughs>像我们中东欧之家呢，是代理了在中东欧十七个国家的产品，大部分都是葡萄酒，然后还有一些葵花籽油以及啤酒等比较出名的一些产品。然后我们代表的国家里头呢，有那个克罗地亚、有捷克、爱沙尼亚以及希腊等等这些国家产品。他们是不是很踊跃啊 ？Are they very active here？ 啊，对 ，Yes， 让因为他们很想参与到建设自贸港的这一个队伍中来，也想借着咱们首届消博会这一次这么好的一个机会，把中东。的产品推向全世界，这也是一个窗口。多少个中东的产品？大概有一百八十多种产品。那你要了解很多关于中东的信息了，当然当然更多分享。对对对对，说的没错。OK， 我们在这里还看到 ，We are also seeing a lot of customers coming in and check. For example, this gentleman. What's your name? My name, name is Hans Peter. Hi. Hi, Hans Peter. Good, good to see you. Good Where to are you see from? You. Switzerland. Oh. Nice. Yes. Very nice. And yes. here you are visiting? No, I stay in Sonia, live actually in Sonia for the last six months already. So I'm half Sonia, <laughs> half Hainanese. <laughs> Proud of it. Yes, already. absolutely. Great place. So what do you do? Why are you interested in the uh, products coming from Central and Eastern European countries? Well, I'm not just particularly interested in Central or Eastern European. I'm generally interested in products which are shown here. Um, and it's kind of interesting to see what attracts the attention of the clients because we are trying to um, import goods into Hainan, uh, in the duty-free business in Hainan. So we are looking around what would be suitable for the duty-free market. And the so duty-free market is huge here, isn't it? It's growing, port, yes, it's port. growing, of course. Uh, a lot of investment goes into it, uh, new players coming into the game. So I think it's a very growing market, yes. New players coming into the game. New players. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is not new players. We are playing together with the local partners. Yeah. Uh, so it's not just we uh, on one side and the others on the other side. So this really, we are playing together with local partners in the so business. So you come here trying to identify who could be your future partners, in a way? Not so much on the duty-free side, because there we know the people quite well, but it's more to see what products could be interesting for the duty-free market, because at the moment it's mainly cosmetics. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, uh, well, skincare, as, as we yeah. said, some watches, some jewelry, but there are many, many more products uh, which would be potentially interesting for like the duty-free market. Like what? But that's what we see. Yeah. I'll see where are the people uh, is it alcohol uh, oh. is it well alcohol is in duty free business as well oh, but okay. um, uh, any kind of product that may be um, interesting and not yet available in the duty free channels mm -hmm. so behind that will be having a big potential for you you are thinking of I settling think, down for a further time uh, i think hainan has a huge potential for the whole industry um, uh, a lot of investment goes into china into hainan particularly to setting this really up as a duty free destination and i think that is a fantastic thing and will be very very successful as well in the future yes so yes i'm planning to stay here a bit longer wow hans peter is willing to be a hainanese <laughs> i try to practice my chinese a bit more yes <laughs> So good to see you, Hans Peter. All you. the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank I wouldn't you. waste too much of your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome away to our booth for L'Oréal. Thank you very much. I'm very flattered uh, to be shown around by you. Well, it's a big pleasure to welcome you 
and to let you discover a bit what we bring in this expo. Yeah, I know sustainable development is very key to yes. you. Yes, and this is why we wanted to start and showing our commitment to sustainability and environment. Mm -hmm. And this is the brand Biotherm as an example, who actually uh, we call it the ocean lovers, the water lovers, yeah. because they had a very strong commitment towards sustainability. Yeah. And they did a very strong act here in uh, Hainan to clean the beaches and participate in making uh, you know, our environment a better place to be. Did you participate? Uh, the teams participated, <laughs> and I promise that next time I will come oh, and participate. That's great. But you know what is very important in the days is that brands has also a purpose, yeah. has a mission. Of course. And this is why I'm very happy that we partner with uh, with the association. About sustainable development exactly. Here. With when it comes to a product, when it comes to a formulation, but also when it comes to the purpose of the cause that we also bring. And this is what today consumers are expecting. And they are looking for this. Exactly. You know, the post-COVID shows that consumers are looking at consumption, but looking at the good consumption. What kind of impact they can also do positively. And this is where, you know, we have today to answer to this, uh, this new trend. Right. Talking about what the consumers are looking for, Sustainable development is not just about doing, uh, uh, you know, uh, donations and things, cleaning up, but rather also in all the packagings and everything. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, the, the, we have today to have also the consumers in the heart of our strategy when it comes to sustainability. Yeah. This is why here is, a, is an example uh, with uh, Lancôme where uh, you have the refill. So this yeah. is usually consumers would buy this product. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's a very nice object, very precious object. Yeah. But we're proposing today to the consumers to have a refill. And this is the box that we're offering. Yeah. That there is a possibility, actually, to buy just the refill yes. and replace your product when it's uh, oh, Can it's you do that? Can you, can you help me to do yeah, that? Of course. And, and the idea of the refill is to be able to, uh, to, to change. To take it out. Yes, oh, to take so it out. So when it's finished, them. yes, you don't waste. And in a way, it helps consumers to have the same experience, but not, you know, uh, over-consuming. Over and I think this is, this is very much the future, you know, the future of the consumption. I just call it the good consumption, because uh -huh. consumers are at the heart of us co-creating products for them. Mm. So this is the key message you're trying to hammer in every time, yes. isn't it? Yes, we want consumers to also uh, participate in the effort of making this world more beautiful. We bring product, but we bring as well uh, 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 you know, an ecosystem with a lot of partners to be able to succeed this uh, important mission, which we call it L'Oreal for the Future. I really like the word ecosystem you just said. So you are actually not only bringing ecosystem environmentally friendly to here, but also have an ecosystem of all kinds of products. Exactly. You know, L'Oreal uh, as a mission is beauty for all. And we recognize that consumers are very diverse and they have different also appetite, different needs. This is why we gather with all our brands to gather different consumer targets. The China market is gigantic, isn't it? Not only that, but also what you are doing here in the China market and also have ripple effects in elsewhere in the world. You're very right. You know, I'm very much convinced that innovating in China is also innovating for the world. Tell me more about that. Chinese consumers today, they're becoming very demanding, very expect high expectation. And we know that the Gen Z particularly, they are very eager to consume, but they have also a lot of demands. So for us, as a number one company in the world, a number one company here in China, we have to be relevant for these consumers and we have to innovate for them. But many of innovation, they're actually inspiring the world. And this is why we work with all our brands and the ecosystem in China to together, you know, to bring this best for Chinese consumer and for the world. What are exactly some of the specific demands coming from Chinese consumers that you think, you know, with the innovation here, that could be relevant elsewhere? But you know, for instance, in terms of skincare, we identify some innovation and product that we create in China for Chinese consumer, and they become a worldwide success. Lately, for instance, I give you an example, the brand Kerasas yes. just actually work with uh, understanding the insight of Chinese consumers and develop a, a range for scalp, which is very relevant for Chinese consumer. And you know what? It's become a blockbuster worldwide. Wow, that's nice. So that's what is all about L'Oreal. Uh, China is bringing the best of the world to China and bringing the best of China also to the world. That's wonderfully said. I see you're having a very busy day today. Yes. Oh, oh my God, earlier there were huge crowds over here. So how is L'Oreal looking at the China market? 
you know, we look at, at it as, as very confident because uh, we know that uh, Chinese consumers, they love beauty, they love big brands, they love also to trust and quality of product. So we're very excited, you know, to participate in such event and be so close to the consumer, to the own partners, because we very much believe it's, it's okay, as I said, it's an ecosystem. It's all together which will make the consumption good and will make their life even more beautiful. Fabrizio, you're in the right place. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you <laughs> Thank very you much. So much. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you. Real conversations with business leaders from European businesses how they are looking at China. That's all we have for today. If you'd like to see more Search World Insight or check out our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Tian Wei. On behalf of the team, thanks for watching. Bye for now.